Hello everyone. Welcome back once again in the PySpark Pi tutorial. And in this tutorial, this is the first practical and uh, very basic that how you can install and configure PySpark on your Jupyter Notebook. So you can see that this is my Jupyter Notebook on Windows machine. And let me help you with how you can install PySpark. So for that purpose, you just have to type pip install PySpark and execute it. So pip install PySpark will help you installing the PySpark package of Spark and it allows you to almost uh, run all the functionalities of Spark. And here you can see it says requirement already satisfied, which means that PySpark is already installed in my machine. So in order to demonstrate the same thing, let me take you to the Google collaboratory. And here also we will run the same command, pip install PySpark. So in Google collaboratory, whenever you create a new notebook or whenever you restart your notebook, it basically, uh, it, it basically uh, kills the environment. So here I had already done this uh, just few minutes back. So let me open a new notebook so that uh, we can demonstrate it that how it actually installs. So this is a new notebook I'm opening and here we will run the same command and see that how that installation happens in case of installing PySpark module. Yes, so this will show us that it will download the packages after downloading it. It will download the dependencies also, and it will unzip it and install it. So all those log messages we will be able to see here. Yeah, so you can see that it is uh, still processing and it, is, it has started. You can see that collecting PySpark, downloading it. And after the download is completed, it will download. If there are some dependencies, it will download the dependencies as well. And after that, it will finish up. So yes, it has downloaded the PySpark package. Now you can see Py4j, this is some dependency it is downloading. And after it is downloaded, it will start building the wheels for collected package. So at the back end of Google Collaboratory, there is Ubuntu uh, operating system. So all the packages will be downloaded with, which are compatible with Ubuntu. So successfully built PySpark, installing collected packages, successfully installed Py4j. So my installation is complete. So once your installation is complete, and after that, what you can do, you can test. You can test by import PySpark. So once you write import PySpark, it should not give any error like module not found. And it doesn't give error. That means it is successfully uh, installed. Now from PySpark, from PySpark.sql import Spark session. So yeah, so it has got repeated. Let me just correct it. Spark session. Okay. Yeah. Can you see the spelling? Import. Yes. Import spelling is a little wrong. So from PySpark.sql import Spark session. So this Spark session is the module which you will be using and you will be creating an object of this Spark session because this is the starting point of uh, executing any kind of uh, application or creating any kind of application with the help of PySpark. Now, let me take you to uh, this part here also. If I do the same thing from PySpark.sql import Spark session, Spark session. Okay, so you can see that it is getting executed. So when we will be creating the first application, that time I'll be exploring more, explaining more about what is Spark session and uh, how to create an application or how to create an object. And with the help of that object, how to create an application with PySpark. Let me just help you here. So here you can see this is the documentation of Spark SQL guide. You can go through this documentation and uh, you can start exploring. So here you can see that uh, Spark session has been imported and with the help of that, so this is Scala program. Let me take you to Python. So it is imported and with the help of that, we have created application. So this is the code for that which we will be seeing in the next uh, tutorial. And here you can follow us on uh, Apache Spark, PySpark tutorial. Uh, this is the second video you are watching now and further upcoming, we'll be having more such videos. Thank you, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day.